Okay, NRL prelim tips and predictions. We're ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. And from the title of the video, we are doing NRL preliminary final tips and predictions. Now, there's only four teams remaining. On the start of the season, there was 16. Went down to uh, went down to eight, went down to four, went down to four. Get back, we're getting down to two now. Sorry, it was, sorry, went down to... Yeah, it went down to, it was 8, and then uh, f uh, 6, and then 4, and now going to be 2 very soon. Um, so I want to go through, there's two games. Uh, I've got first game on Friday, second game Saturday. We'll go through the team, team list, my prediction on who I'm going to go for. Uh, just make sure you like, subscribe, guys. As you know, you might be wondering where I am. I am on holiday, I'm at Kingsliff. I'm going to do probably a very short, under 3 minute video, hopefully. Of a kinks of trips, not going to be a full day to day, everyday video. It's going to be little photos and videos that I've put in together. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm on holiday now, that's why on on the road, on the move, tip and prediction video. Hopefully, we can get a good one in. So we're going to get into it now. Um, there's one of the one of these games is very hard to choose between these two. One of this one of these two games uh, is very hard. It's, it's it's the first game, but Cowboys and Eels, Friday, twenty third of September. 7.50 kickoff, Queensland Country Bank Stadium in North Queensland. Now, a lot of people are, are back, backing the Eels in this. We can go... We'll, I'll do, we'll go through the team list first. We'll go to the team list. We'll have a look who's in, who's out. Now, this team list might change. There might be some late outs, late ins, etc. So, we'll go through it. So, ins for the Cowboys. Ben, ben Hamilton, Bradley Elliott, Jake Granville, Tom Chester. And for the Eels, Bryce Cartwright, Cole... Uh, Rodwell, Nathan Brown, Ophaheki, Ogan. Now, if we look at these two teams, if we look at their past matchups together, I don't think they have past matchups. Did that have they have they played each other this week? They must have. So they did play. Third of April, twenty twenty two. So they did play the Cowboys. They did, um, play the Eels. I think this year. They won 35-4 to at uh, Combank, at TIO Stadium in Darwin. They did play this team earlier. The Cowboys vs. Eels played earlier, and Cowboys won 35-4. to Who did, who played for the Cowboys? Townsend played. So this, honestly, this Cowboys team is no different from when they won 35-4. But with the Eels, they had Simonson played... Uh, Sevo didn't play, Dylan Brown played, but he played in the centres. So, it's it's kind of the same team, you could kind of say. It's, a, it's really the same team, but different format. But if we go now, it's finals. It's a, way, it's a completely different atmosphere. Even though they're playing at home in Cowboys um, at Queensland Country Bank Stadium, I just think the Eels kind of really want the win more. Because, yes, these two teams... Uh, the top the, the, these are the final top four teams, but it's third v fourth. So what you could kind of say there is that Cowboys are playing at home. They have the home. They have the most home. This Cowboys out of these preliminary finals, they have the home home field advantage. Panthers next game are playing at a core stadium. So um, this Cowboys are playing at home. A prelim final. The winner gets go to the grand final. Uh, very hard to tip here. I am a bit disappointed with the Sharks, of course. I'll put that out there when we get to the next game. But um, Cowboys have a home field advantage. They have, they've had a week off. Cowboys won week one, top four. You get a week off. If you win, you go straight to the prelim. They win it. Win it, get a week off, and they they haven't played a semi. The Eels played a semi against the Raiders, they won 40-4. to four. That's a flogging game. So they, there wasn't really much contact in that Raiders-Eels game. But I just think the Eels are a better team involving Dylan Brown and Mitchell Moses. If we go back into the team and we go to the team list, Gutherson is amazing at fullback. He has played every game like a king. He is their key, really. If you compare both, Drinkwater, Gutherson, we'll go Gutherson, two wingers, um, I'll, I'll, I'll probably go Cowboys for that one. 
Oh no, I would go Eels, sorry. Go Eels. Centers, uh, I would go Cowboys, 100%. Um, 5 8 and a half back, I'd got to kind of go Eels. So really, Eels, if we go to the Ford pack, if we look at their Ford pack, I do, I think the Cowboys win the Ford pack. Jordan McLean, Ruben Cotter, Tom Gilbert, Jason Tavalolo, Jeremiah Nanai, Tom Gilbert. So, I think the Cowboys do win that. But I just feel, Cowboys at home, they ha- they've, Eels haven't won a grand final in probably, I think, over 20, pardon me, over 20 years. They've, it's been a long time since the Eels have won a, um, a premiership. The Cowboys, last time they won was 2015, like seven years ago, six years ago. Uh, 2015, was it? Yeah, 2015. So, you can say Eels really want this more, I think. But in that same sense, Cowboys are playing at home. Cowboys won against this Eels team away. So picture that. 135-4, to four, they're playing at home, having a better advantage. I'll see when this game goes on, but for me right now, my tip is Cowboys. Just because Cowboys have had a week off, they've had a week off, they're healthy, ready to go. I just think... Fully strength, week off Cowboys side is going to win, I just think. So I'm going to go Cowboys, even though Eels will put a big shot. It's going to be Cowboys 1-12 to easy, but I think the Eels will push them a bit more to probably win. It could go to go- down to Golden Point. But that's my tip. I'm going to go Cowboys. I'm not too sure about that, but Cowboys in the grand final, that's my tip. Moving on. Next game, panthers Rabbitohs Saturday, a core stadium, 7.50 kickoff. I'm... Devastated about the Sharks. Devastated. Shocking last week against the semi. A win, we go to a prelim. Rabbitohs put us on our back heads. Not back... What's the, there's no even word for it. We played shocking. A shocking end of the season. Lose finals week one by two. Lose the semi by 26 points. Shocking about the Sharks. Anyway, our season's over. Nothing to talk about there. I'll do a top eight uh, grading seat thing when the, all this center is done. But Panthers Eels, sorry, not Panthers Eels, Panthers Rabbitohs. Now, Panthers don't have a home game. They're playing at a course game. So this is technically a South Sydney home game. It's technically a South Sydney home game. What I'm looking at here is two strong teams. So in for Panthers, Chris Chris Smith, uh, Jamil Hog, Hoggood, Matthew Ardens, who Sean O'Sullivan, Sinu Tahua, I think that's how you say it, and outs is Taylor, Taylor May. Inns is Blake Taft, Jacob Host, Jack Carro, Josh Mentor, Richard Kenner for the Souths. Out is Sivila Havili. So, before we get into the back lines, Alex Johnson is not certain to play. He might be playing, he might not. He did come out of the Sharks game uh, last week of a leg, ankle, something, lower body injury. So, he is he's suspected to play, but is not certain yet. So, we'll go to the back line. Who standard out? In, if we go back to the f- finals week one, or if we go to Panthers Eels, Panthers Rabbitohs, and their past two games, they've played two games this season. Panthers have won both of these games. They won 26 to 12 on the 1st of April, and they won 26 22. If we go to the Panthers, 26 12, they played at Blue Bet Stadium in Panthers. So playing in Panthers, of course, you're probably going to get a win for the Panthers. Panthers had Nathan Clue, had Jerome Luai, they didn't have Brian Toe, so Toe was out. This team is the, technically the same team. Same team. Rabbitohs had Elias. So this same, this Rabbitohs team had the same when they played Panthers. So really, it's going up and really, it's the same team playing each other. You could say. And if you go back to when the Panthers won 26-22, you go to the stats, you go to the players who played. Damien Cook played, Walker, Ilias played. That's this, honestly the same team of the Rabbitohs that played the Sharks, that they won by 30, uh, 26 points. Go to the Panthers, though, they didn't have Cleary. They didn't have... Well, they had Cleary. They didn't really have... They didn't have Cleary. That's really the only person they're missing. Didn't have Cleary, didn't have Luai. The halfback, halfback and 5'8", they didn't have them. If they were both playing, they probably would have won by more. They still won without their two best players. All they're saying is that Panthers can win. That's why I've got to tip Panthers. I I just got to. There's nothing to talk about there. Panthers, well, if they win this this prelim, they'll be the third consecutive finals in a row. 
2020, 21 22. They lost in 2020 against the Storm, came back 2021, beat South. This is a grand final rematch. Grand final rematch, Panthers, Rabbitohs. I've got to go the home. It's not really a home team. It's technically a home final for the Souths, but it's really not. So my prediction is the Panthers. I'm going to go for Panthers just because they have Cleary, have Luai. Cleary is his second game back after a five-week inspection, so you know how good he will be. Easy wins. Cleary, Luai together, combining with Crun, To'o, Tago Staines, Edwards. Like, you can't... That, that's it. That's my team. Pretty easy. Going to go Panthers. So that's my tips. Panthers, Cowboys. cowboys Ilgs game will be a very tough game. A lot of fight, a lot of grit. So the grand final. Uh, Panthers, Cowboys is what I'm predicting. If that happens, I've got two from two this week. If it doesn't, it could be, honestly, what would be an interesting final. If I don't really want Panthers to win, but I just want to get the tip right. So I'm going to go Panthers as a better team. But if this could happen, a good final would be Cowboys, Rabbitohs. A Queensland team versus South Sydney. Cowboys in a final versus South Sydney, who gone back to back, hopefully for a win. But I don't think that's going to happen. I think Panthers are too strong. They'll probably win, get the prelim, win the grand final, and probably go back two years in a row. We'll see what happens there. That's my tips, guys. Stay tuned for the Cowboys Eels game. That's going to be a tough game. If you want to watch it, free on Channel 9, KO Foxtel, both games are. That's really it. On the trip, on the holiday tips and prediction video. Um, the grand final, I'll probably do that prediction Wednesday night next week. I'll see. We're leaving here next Tuesday. So, you're leaving here in a week. So, technically, yeah. for Wednesday night, Tuesday night, we'll see how we go. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, Cowboys, Eels, Panthers, Rabbitohs, prelim, preliminary final. That's it. I'll do a grading of NRL uh, top eight team when the grand final and prelims done, all the NRLs done, and then we'll do a, a, a grading top eight, and then after that, the NBA season starts, boys, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. NBA season will start. The Warriors champs. If we just quickly have a quick scan of the NBA, NBA, sorry. The first Warriors game is, if you could say, it's the September 30th. It is the, I think, Japan League. You could kind of say that. But the real season starts on October uh, 18. I think the preseason starts on the 1st of October, I think. 1st of October, I oh, know. Yeah, pre so first game, Lakers, Warriors, you know, all that. Anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Cowboys and Panthers are my tips. Like and subscribe, and until next time, enjoy life and have fun. Peace.